The first thing we worked on to define more thoroughly our approach to the project has to do with our interpretation of the myth. The myth itself uh, about uh, a young girl drowned in the Seine, uh, which was retrieved and brought to the morgue and was left unidentified. There was taken a mask off, um, a mask to uh, make sure she could be identified afterwards, but also because she had this kind of mysterious smile on her face. And because of that, uh, copies of the mask ended up in artists, studios, uh, writers, interiors, uh, composers, philosophers. It was in the 19th century, so there is a parallel between the birth of image culture, the, the rise of photography as a medium. And that's where our approach to the project starts. The urgency to tell this myth is that nowadays we are living in a contemporary image culture in which we have a drastically completely different uh, relationship with imagery. Uh, if you look in our daily life, I think that uh, when I speak for myself, that uh, I see more images in one day that probably my grandparents had seen in their whole life. Um, and the way we build up our own identities and uh, uh, the views others have of, uh, of us is mainly through imagery communicating on the internet, uh, using uh, photography in a very uh, different way than it uh, was back then. So this gives us an urgency to put the myth in another cultural context and really to work on the aspect of um, portrayal, of uh, the relationship between a photographer and the model, the subject. 